What's up guys? So, I spent the day in Sedona today, and I haven't been back here during the day since I moved, and oh my god, it's so crazy, like, I, there's so many people here now, and I'm literally spent half the day in traffic, just like, going from one end of town to the other and yeah it's just kind of killing it for me i'm like i got i had um i spent half the day with one of my friends um and then she went to work and then i had a session and i was getting the guidance to go down by the creek but literally there's no place to even pull over and it's just like even if I could get down to the creek it's so busy like <laughs> how am I supposed to go find a quiet quiet spot I just I don't know I feel like I feel like there should only be like so many people that are allowed in you know sacred areas like this like at a time like I'm not saying like but just ah I just it's just like a building like it has its limits you know um but yeah um I still love this place I just don't like that like when they started charging to go to Slide Rock I was really turned off by that like I get that everybody needs to make their money but like can we make our money for the betterment of people and not for the detriment? I just, I guess I'm just spoiled because like when I moved here, COVID had, you know, shut everything down. So it was like, there was like no people and it was so peaceful and probably just being a hater, but, um, I just don't like when things get trendy like I'm glad that people are like waking up and stuff and like even you know reality tv stars are like learning about crystals and stuff but it just when you do it from a, a from like an empty space like there's no like it's it, it makes me feel like religion like honestly like when I I've been to Catholic church one time and that was for funeral and I was blown away by the lack by of the lack of presence in the priest. Like he was just like, I understand like to have all of that information, like whatever. Um, but it was just, it was so uh, up and down. Uh, like there was no, feeling there was no presence I, there was no light above him there it was just ah like I don't I yeah like I I feel like we really I don't know there there needs to be like an ability for a teacher or a preacher to like bring a presence and make you feel God and you know I feel like I've just I've I've been blessed with understanding this and like gravitating towards those kinds of teachers. Um, and that's a spiritual experience. But then again, if you, if you've never experienced it, then you don't know what you're missing. And so it's like, it's my desire and my passion to bring to people that frequency that has been so forgotten. I mean, I just don't understand the point of doing this world if you're not going to fully embody in it and like experience it to the fullest and don't just go along with the crowd or like find the thing that lights you up and follow that to the ends of the earth you know like at the end of the day like your ability to anchor in the presence of God is all that truly matters. Your ability to experience that God connection with you and a, another human being is like all that truly matters. It really because is. Our ability to connect and, and have that divine love 
and like sharing that with the world, like that wakes up everything. That wakes up every cell in every body. Like, because there's no way, that's a visceral experience. There's no way people don't feel that. And when you feel that, it's like seeing something you can never unsee. It's feeling something and you know that it exists and therefore you never settle for something less. You're not, you're not, oh, spirit just said that so fast. You're not um, blinded by the bullshit. So yeah, like I, I think that's why I, I'm not like a serial dater because like, I mean, I don't understand like relationships are a lot of work. Like, why would you have a relationship with like, somebody? Hey, what's up? Or like, why would you have sex with somebody if it was like so bad? You're like, oh, do I really have to take my shirt off? Like, what what are we doing people like make everything a sacred experience and but if you don't know what that means like then i should probably be teaching that huh ay <sighs> ay ay i don't even know i'm like i just wish <laughs> that that i could like make the world different and just like allow everybody to experience life through my felt perception for like one day while I got to just like make it it right like because they're just doing it wrong here they're doing it wrong so yeah that was my preach moral of the story is don't do it wrong Okay. Oh, I guess I'm going to go back to Phoenix now because Sedona is too busy to even have. And I had a bunch of plans with people, but like everyone blew me off. So except for Alexia. Love you. Um, But Spirit was like, it's because you need to be alone with your thoughts. Just kidding. Spirit doesn't talk to me in that tone of voice. But oh, then my thoughts just go to everyone's doing it wrong. God, can we pause? Let me fix it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to drive home by myself now. <laughs> Love you guys. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. Contact me. You guys can reach me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. And don't forget, there's only a couple more days to get the buy one, gift one session for an hour or longer. I'm not doing it for the in-person or the shorter um, readings, but I am doing it for the one-hour healings, mentoring, or if you get a reading longer than an hour. Then you get to, you pay for your session, and then you gift to your friend or family, whoever, for free. So take advantage of that while I'm offering it because it definitely did not do me well financially, so I don't think I'll be offering it again. But take me up on it now. Um, send me an email, info at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. Link is in the description if you'd like to send donations. They're always appreciated and definitely needed to continue this ministry and my paypal link you can reach me on all platforms at kendra divine purpose mentor all right love you guys